This morning, the COVID crisis, after shattering its single-day record of new infections, is now in its third wave nationally, and it's ravaging many smaller communities for the first time. I think there's an increasingly high level of fatigue, Abe, especially in the rural parts of the country, because we were told back in May and June how bad it was going to be, and it never came. Well, now it's here. In South Dakota, the mayor of Sioux Falls is pleading with residents to wear masks, but the governor says it should be a choice, tweeting if folks want to wear a mask, they are free to do so. Those who don't want to wear a mask shouldn't be shamed into it. Still, COVID cases in 43 states and D.C. are up at least 10 percent in the last two weeks, including record numbers in Illinois, which has topped 9,500 deaths. Excuse me, please. It weighs heavily on the state's health director. These are mothers and fathers and grandparents, co-workers. It's it's, it's overwhelming. More heartbreak at the University of Dayton in Ohio, where freshman Michael Lang died of complications from COVID-19. Our kid is in a better place, and, you know, he'll be looking down on us, so. But he's 18. He's way too young. Way too young. Here in South Dakota, they've seen a thousand new COVID cases for the second time in three days. And hospitals like this one are preparing for flu season and any possible staffing shortages.